Hello and welcome to Blue Sparks headquarters here in Aberdeen. As you can see, we're still working from home at the moment, so hopefully I don't get interrupted by any screaming kids or get a football launched off my head, which is part of the norm nowadays. I'd like to take a few minutes of your time just to walk you through a recent job with Equinor in the North Sea. Uh, this job, this case study has also been presented at some of the ICO events with Equinor, which is focused around uh, downhole, downhole safety valve remediation. So you just let me share a few slides with you over the next couple of minutes. Uh, be appreciated. So <clears throat> what we had here, the challenge was that the, the well had actually been shut in for more than eight years, primarily because of a, a faulty downhole safety valve. The, many years, when they did the first interventions, they uh, they went in with slip line and did some brushing, uh, but the actual brushes, they lost the, hole, the brushes in a hole, and equally when they went in with the kindling cutter to retrieve the wire, they lost the kindling cutter and all the cable in the hole as well. So at that time they decided to shut in the well and come back at a later date. More recently they went in with a, a camera to have a look at the issue and see, see what state the, the safety valve was in. And as you can see here from one of the camera images, they found that the uh, on top of the flow tube here, the flow tube moving area, they found this, this area here was quite heavily scaled. They knew that this was barium and strontium scale as well, so quite a hard scale to remove. So the objective was to clear a pathway, reactivate the downhole safety valve, which was the wasp operation, retrieve the fish, bring the ball, and bring the well back into production. If all of this was unsuccessful, they then would, they would prepare the well for p and so why did they choose the WASP tool to fix the safety valve? So they knew about our continued success with another super major in the North Sea, where we've previously carried out more than 40 downhole safety valve operations. And year on year, our success rate in downhole safety valves is around about the 75% mark. Now, I'll speak a little bit more about this 75% success in a, in a few slides time. There was very low risk of uh, the WASP damaging uh, any of the equipment and actually getting, losing more tools in the hole. We could target our treatment around about the, uh, the actual flow tube in the area that we knew that was scaled. Uh, we could treat multiple zones in, in, in per run and hole. We do one pulse per, per four or five seconds and up to 6,000 pulses per run and hole. There's no dangerous goods with our tool, so you know, there's no corrosive uh, chemicals that could cause any more damage. And our tool easily removes all scale types because we know it's barium and strontium. We know our, our tool will pulse and you'll get immediate results. You don't have to wait that 12 hour soak time with, with chemicals. It's a small foot, footprint, so it's a simple wireline rig up. And our technology has been used in over 550 uh, operations. This gave our client confidence that uh, our tool would, would help their situation. What you see here is the uh, bottom of the wash tool with the rubber membrane. This is where the magic happens, so to speak. We release our energy about 30,000 volts over a small spark gap. That spark creates heat, which uh, then creates a hydraulic pulse. Here, this is the pulse here. You can see the pulse going, and, and this will hit the tubing wall or the safety valve, the perforation. And you'll see this pulse hit the target zone and start reflecting. And it's that push-pull action that actually peels the scale. Uh, away from away from the wall. So the wasp operation. So the first run and hole we was carried out with a no go attached to the tool, purely because the client was cautious about going through the flapper area because he knew he had a fish uh, underneath here somewhere. So we attached the no go run and hole, which stopped our wasp tool just above the the flapper around this area. And we treated from there up, including above the flow tube where we saw in the earlier image, which was heavily scaled with barium scale. We pulled out of hole, we functioned, uh, they functioned the, the flow tube, and they got good indication it was moving. So we carried out a second run in hole, this time with the no go uh, removed, which allowed us to run in past the flapper area and treat the, the lower section. So as we were running here, we cleaned all the, the scale from, from the debris from round about the, the seal area. We sat over the flapper area with the pulse point and closed the flapper on the tool. And we also started pulsing. And the pulses started reflecting around and can clean in behind the flapper. So this ensures the whole safety valve uh, is clear. This, we carried this out as a single man operation, so we had to manage his hours. Uh, but, all, but equally, two, uh, two runs in hole were carried out in under 24 hour period. 
to the results. So as I said, after the first run, we got good indication that the flow tube was moving. Uh, there's a 65 mil increase in control line return, so that gave us confidence. Everything was moving and the flapper was moving. The second run without the no-go, as I said, we, we cleaned the scale from round about the, the flapper area and, and the whole safety valve. So after the second run, a successful inflow test was uh, carried out over the safety valve first time in, in eight years. So great success there for Blue Spark and also a great result there for the client. The post-wasp operation, so after the wasp, they went in with the fishing equipment and got the wireline brush, the Kimberley cutter, and all the cable. They logged with the caliper and RST, and they perforated two new zones. The outcome, the well was brought back into production with uh, 1,200 barrels of oil per day after more than eight years being shut in. Well, that was a great success for Blue Spark, huge success for the client. Everyone was extremely happy. So happy, in fact, they immediately shipped us off to some other wells, another rig, and carried out uh, three more other wells straight after this one. And since then, we've carried out 10 more operations with similar success story. This slide here is very quickly, just to give you an indication of uh, the other successes we've had in 2019. Uh, 21 production enhancement jobs, uh, increase of oil production of 93%. This is cleaning screens, perforations, and gravel parts. Huge increase in one of the injection rates in one of the wells we did in Nigeria. And we did 90% success rate in the cleaning completion items, be it safety valves, side pocket mandrels, SSBs, nipples, etc. Of that 13 safety valves, there's a 77% success, success rate. That success rate is slightly lower because our major client in Denmark runs us as first tool in the hole, so they don't even know scale is the issue. And even with that, we have a 77% success rate in, in fixing our safety valves. When we've been used to clean up tubing uh, for a plug or a, or a straddle, the, the plug in the straddle has set and, and tested 100% of the time after we've cleaned the, cleaned the area. So that's a, that's a huge success for the hospital. So I'd like to thank you for your time. Thank you for listening. If you've got any questions on this case study, or any other applications or other case studies, please get in touch at the details shown or get in touch with me directly. Thanks for listening.